Welcome back as Kingdom Come Deliverance Part 2 received a major update a week ago in the form of patch 1.5. It includes the game's third paid expansion pack. This update added support for FSR4. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the in-date model of FSR4 in conjunction with OptiScaler XCSS frame generation. Would not recommend using FSR frame generation now as it produces some flickering around a character's shadow during fast visual motion. A hotfix patch was also deployed a few days ago in the form of version 1.5.1. I'll be testing the game on my ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11 Radeon 780M GPU based on RDNA 3 architecture. We'll be using OptiScaler mods build version 0.9 preview 5 20251106 available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Click on the dot link here. FSI SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the in-date model of FSR4. These files could be used to compile an FSR4 DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user athlete dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Just click on the go file link here. From this page, you need to download AMD Fidelity FX Subscaler TX12.TLL file. Click on download next to it. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Select the highlighted files. Optiscaler.inap mods configuration file, optiscaler.tll mod loader file, libxcss underscore fg.tll xcss frame generation file, libxcss.tll xcss super resolution file for dx12 and Vulkan APIs. The game uses dx12 API, libxcll.tll xcss no latency mode file, fake nv api.inap fake nv api.tll fake nv api is required for using xcll, not using nukem 9 mod. Vulkan version of FX not required. Select all of the TX12 versions of FX files. 10 files selected, right click, copy. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. This will open the game's install directory. Just open bin folder, win64 master master, steam pgo folder, paste everything here. Just need to change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll there's the file selected right click rename type dxgi now just open optiscaler.ini file won't be using optiscaler's dxgi spoofing feature scroll down until you find spoofing section there it is under this section look for a line named dxgi and set it to false i'll use the in-game fsr4 of scalar to activate optiscaler mod File, Save, Close. Now I'll install FSR for Upscaler. Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler TX12.tll file that you downloaded from Reddit. Open the Games Install folder, bin, Win64 Master Master, Steam PGO, paste the file here, replace the existing file, and we are done. Show you adrenaline settings for the game. FreeSync VSync on, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6GB, my life running on PALS version 3.4.2, install LS latest official GP driver, optimized for Call of Duty Black Ops 7, using a 27W manual profile, all 3 power values set at 27W, CPU boost disable, resolution set to 720p, I have connected my Gullicate KK3 Max gamepad to LA via Bluetooth mode, as I will be using OptiScaler's hardfix feature to fix the crosshair flickering won't be using afterburner and RTSS to show you the performance stats will simply use adrenaline's performance overlay lost the game in-game settings resolution 720p display mode full screen vSync off no FPS cap applied yeah technology set to FSR4 setting got unlocked using its quality preset Sharpness level half, motion blur, depth of field disabled. Advanced graphics settings, post processing settings set to low, rest of the settings set to medium. Once the game loads up, just press the insert keyboard key to open OptiScaler menu. There it is. I'll increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale, set the value to 1.1. Much better now. Yeah, upscaler set to XCSS version 2.0.2 input. In game FSR 4 upscaler, FX DX12. DXJ is spoofing its off, auto expose setting is off as well so I'll enable it under init flag section. 
now i'll switch to fsr4 upscaler click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select fsr 3.x as the option click on change upscaler again in date model of fsr4 got enabled okay with this build of optiscaler we cannot change the fsr4 model from here set to default with selected model 0 incorrect model this is for the game running at native resolution fsr anti lazing model 1 corresponds to the quality preset of in-game upscaler it didn't change so just stick with default value doesn't produce any significant artifacts frame generation disable for the time being and just enable optiscaler's performance overlay expand fps overlay section check the setting fps overlay enabled full plus graph scale 1.3 base resolution 853 by 480 pixels of scale to 720p resolution save and i close show you the base game performance first i am in the town of traskovitz yeah we are in check out the image quality oh my god it's looking so sharp difficult to believe that this is not native 720p resolution in game fsr 3.1 upscaler produces some noticeable shimmering around the fence barely any shimmering is present when using indirect model of fsr 4 upscaler FPS is within a range of 50 to 60. This is just insane. Okay, that's my horse pebble. I'll explore the area on horseback. Look at the texture quality here. It's amazing. That's my dog, mud. Okay, I'll just leave this place. See some NPCs roaming around. Big open area ahead of me. Thick foliage. Stunning visuals. FPS is still close to 50. Jump over the fence. This is the way out. Really, any stuttering is present. This game runs very nicely on ROG LI. VRAM usage is increasing. Yeah, 5 GBC. 6 GB UMA buffer size should be enough for these settings. In later areas, you may need to increase the UMA buffer size setting to 7 GB. Game features a very big map. I think the third DLC takes place in another area. New area added to the game. Okay, now I'll show you how to enable XCFG. Just open OptiScaler menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source. Select Opti FG of Scaler as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. If for some reason you want to use FSR frame gen, select FSR FG. Would not recommend using it. Produces some flickering around the character's shadow during fast visual motion. Say when I close, we start the game. Play. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu and check the setting active under XCFG. This will enable XSS frame gen. Check the debug view. You will see these purple sidebars. If XSS frame gen is working, your crosshair is flickering, so you need to enable hard fix setting and set the limit value to 1. Debug view, uncheck it. Show detected UI. Game's HUD element should be highlighted pink in color, but there is one problem with hard fix limit value set to 1. When a character is low on HP or stamina, a vignette effect gets applied on the screen, and this happens. See, animation quality is looking choppy. Smoothing effect is working properly only in the central part of the display, small area, right here. In the pink colored area, smoothing effect is not working. You can fix this issue by setting the limit value to 3, but this will cause the crosshair to flicker C. Mm, running out of stamina yeah now the smoothing effect is working properly and when this vignette effect gets applied crosshair does not exhibit any flickering see it's highlighted pink in color if you don't use any ranged weapons you can actually disable this crosshair from the in-game setting and just disable show detected UI setting first Settings, game settings, visible crosshair, side to no, 
confirm see back to the game yeah that crosshair is gone games are elements they are not flickering this game does not support reflex so xcll won't work smoothing fed is working properly even when our character is low on hp check out the fluidity this is amazing 88 fps latency is not an issue as the base fps is on the higher side 50 to 55 without frame gen smoothing fed it's so consistent okay where's my horse there it is I just wanted to show you the map moving around the map smearing fact is not produced this used to happen in the older builds of OptiScaler journal text is readable load another sequence show you some combat there is a bandit camp nearby barge in pick my weapon Attack the bandit from behind. Haven't played the game in a long time. <laughs> Landed the blow on his head. Oh no, running out of stamina. I think that was a block. You have to press the left trigger when the green symbol appears. Like this. Another block. Red point indicates the direction in which a character will attack. Target the body part. Very good, cleared the area. So very good results produced in this game with FSR 4 of scalar and XCSS frame generation on ROG Ally. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.